Hello, Mimi here, and I am working on some black tags here that I'm making a tag, uh, kind of a little journal tag. And I'm using just cream colors, blacks, um, off-whites, trying to stay away from color too much. Uh, but I wanted to do a little decorating, and I thought I'd let y'all just watch me a little bit if y'all wanted to. Um, I enjoy watching other people craft, so... I wanted to show you here, I made this little button um, thing where you button card. So it's some cute little buttons on. It's, I love this and I thought that would be really pretty in a pocket on these tags. I also made this little shaker pocket here. Um, I actually got this idea from Hermelinda Aguilera. I think that's her last name. And she just used these little um, plastic bags that we you know have like a ziploc thing on the top well i cut that off and um, used it so i thought it was really pretty and i thought it kind of would go good with this and just put my um created by mimi's crafty shop on the back but anyway one thing i wanted to show y'all i'm fixing to make a corner pocket I hope, I hope i'm in frame uh using these coffee filters and when i Decided to do that. This is a coffee filter that does not have doesn't have anything on it. It's flimsy So I thought well if I'm gonna make a fold it up and make a cute little pocket out of it I want it to be a little stiffer. So I just took my Mod Podge and went over it um, and dried it with my Hot glue. I mean my hot iron um, What y'all know what I'm talking about my hot blower and heat gun and it just really made it, I had never done that on these filters and it really made it uh, kind of have like a waxy feel to it. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is sew down the sides on this right quick. So let me sew that down and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got that sewed down and just wanted to show y'all um, sewed it and it just sewed really fantastic and I even thought I should have might have used black on it but I think that that kind of looks fine um, it, with the card being black um, I'm gonna work on these two if I have time isn't that gonna be pretty I love that I love putting stuff together and seeing how they're gonna look so I'm having so much fun doing this so let's glue this one down and then I just recently did a, I don't know if you call it collaging or mixed media page, and I had thought about cutting it up and using it in this project, but I had a hard time cutting it up because it, it was so pretty, and so I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cut it up. I'm just going to wait and use that on a different project. Um, probably going to use it in some, actually a, a big junk journal as um, a really neat page so um, that's what I, that was my idea so I thought I would do one on the smaller scale for this one but in that turned out cute I love this and see look at all the pockets I mean you've just got pocket 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 so you know you can slide stuff in see isn't that cute I just love this idea. Let me see if I can find something else to put in there. Of course, it's not all the way glued down yet, but you can kind of get my idea of doing that. So anyway, it's a thought, and everybody has coffee coffee filters, and that's a cheap little way to make a little um, some embellishments or ephemera. So um, don't put your stuff in there until it dries, though, because all your stuff will stick. But anyway, and I'm gonna decorate the other side of it too, but we'll do that later. Okay, let me move that one out of the way and let's go on to project number two. And I'm going to do my little, I hope I'm in frame, yes. Okay, let's bring this down a little bit. Right here. Okay, so what I did last time was just kind of pick out some stuff this is actually just a piece of paper that um, came with some backing that I bought at Walmart. And it I liked it because I love the color of it, so I decided to keep it. And it's just like those little paper bags that, you know, we, we get. And so I decided to keep the 
keep it and use it in my crafts. So what I'm gonna do is start kind of just putting this around. And literally I, what I do is I just, you know, I just save all my scraps and most of them, not everything. Cause sometimes, you know, we can get kind of overboard, but I'm just using my Mod Podge. Most of us all have Mod Podge or the homemade version. Um, I do like to use Collage Podge too. Uh, I've had this Mod Podge is, oh my gosh, I don't even know how old it is. I've had it forever. <laughs> I don't know if it ever get, gets old, does it? Sometimes, maybe. But I'm just gonna keep adding stuff on here. And when it dries, it is so pretty. I love this look. This is one of my most favorite things to do. I think I could sit and do this all day. So just keep handing me the, the stuff you want me to stick on there and I'll keep putting it on there. Now this here, I'm going to actually use my I noticed that using, if you want it to stick down, let's see if I'm still in frame, yes, okay. Um, if you want to stick down and use material, you need to use Fabri-Tac or something, hot glue gun, something that's a little bit more, will stick better. And you can Mod Podge over this to kind of stiffen it up too which I have done that. But this is a fun little thing to do. Um, you know, we all have scraps, so this is a cheap little way to embellish your stuff. And I'm always about trying to find stuff that I have. And this is my little, I made these up out of using paper towels that I had put some tea dyed, uh, my tea bags down because I want to make a tea bag journal um, and so I made those up I did a little tutorial on that and show how to make them they're so easy to make and another thing that you can use on your recycled you just got to make sure they dry really good okay um, now I gotta find something else to stick on here I thought these were kind of cute these little round deals uh, a lot of times you can cut cut these out with or they you can even buy them already round or you can use your little cutting tool and cut those out let's see let's put that down here let's see what else do I have to put on there I have so much junk on my table it's terrible I told y'all in, in my other video if you watched it that I am a messy crafter and is no joke I am very messy when I, when I craft. All right, let's get some of this and put on there. But I enjoy doing it, so, and like I tell my husband, it's easy to clean up. It doesn't take me no time to clean up my stuff. Let's see. This is really, old Sears and Roebuck paper my husband gave me that he had gotten at one of his pawn shops back in the 80s and he he told me that I could use it so <laughs> I've been cutting it up and using it and then this is just some burlap that I'm taking and putting on here burlap, um, you know, that comes in a roll and get it at Hobby Lobby and then just going over it because that kind of stiffens that up. But I think that looks really cute and what I'm going to do is let it dry and I'm going to add something right there. I don't know what yet. I'm trying to find something in my stash over here. I've got so much. I thought I had everything out, but I see that I don't, so... Let's just stop there on that one and set it to the side. And when I get through with all these, I'm going to, I'll do a video on them. And you'll get to see the finished product. And this one here, 
I wanted to fix it up too. I thought it turned out really pretty. It's gonna be so cute. I love this lady right here. And so on this one, I'm just gonna really glue this one down. And I'm, I even have a hard time doing that because the sides right here is pretty. <laughs> but I'm learning to do it. I'm saying, okay, you can put that down. It's okay. I love this paper right here. Um, I think this come from Hobby Lobby and they're just like individual. And I love the color of it. I think it's just so pretty. And let's see. I want to kind of put things on an angle. And this here, I'm going to put that down. This is just some, a little bit of and I think I'm going to use my hot glue gun on this one because I really want this to stick. And let's see. Who, what, will we, what will we do without gauze? I love gauze. Then I wanted to put a little eyelash uh, here, just eyelash trim on there. Sometimes I staple this. I have my little stick thing somewhere in my mess because it kind of gets, you know, so it's flat. And then I'm going to put these really pretty little paper flowers right here. But these are so cute. Isn't that just gorgeous though? I love that. I love that look. That's going to be so pretty. I don't know if I'm going to stick something behind that, so I'm not going to glue that little end down. But that's one there. And this one here, I'm going to, I've already got this paper um, cut out and I rounded the corners. And I love embellishing tags and just doing up embellishments. These are fun to do. These tags, I love these. These are Graphic 45 tags and I really like them because they've got these big holes on up here on the top and then they come with a little ring to put them all together. So I thought about doing a junk journal tag book, you know. Um, I thought that would be kind of neat to do that up for something different. And then I had gotten, what did I do with it? There it is. This right here, and I'm going to put that there as kind of a belly band in the middle to hold some stuff I'm going to put on here, in here. back up there. Let's see. I hope I got that on straight. Sometimes I do things and it's crooked. Okay, so my idea was I have these really, this pretty little um, file folder, file um, index card that I made up with that pretty stamp on it. And I just put this up here. It's just a little cutout of some paper, uh, book paper. And I thought this would look good stuck down in here. And then maybe stick that picture of that lady in there. And I've got these things to put on there. You know, I just had some ideas about sticking stuff in there. So that was my idea on that. And also, I was going to decorate this up, but I'm gonna take those out because I don't want them to stick to the glue first. So my idea here is, what am I gonna put on the there? I 
have this, but it's kind of sticks up really a lot. And then I also stamped this. I just got a piece of scrap paper, um, material and just put enjoy your day. I put a stamp on there. So that would be cute on there. With something behind it. Let's see. I can find something up here. I'm not liking any of that. Of course. Never fails. I kind of like that eyelash trim behind it. What do y'all think? Eyelash trim? Okay, let's do the eyelash trim. down. I'm trying to decide if I want to put something under it. It's like I need something else. Don't know what. Let's see. Isn't it terrible when you get over here and you start messing around and you're feminine and then you can't find anything and I've got a thousand things on my table. <laughs> I guess that looks okay. I don't know. Let's see. So once you put it down, it's down. It's not coming up. I think I kind of like that. That's going to be fun. And I was thinking about if I added something on the side. Those I don't like. The problem is, is I'm trying not to add anything that's going to stick up too much. And this, I really love this, but it sticks up too much. I think I'm just going to put that little bitty flower on there. That'll work. I love these paper flowers. That, that just sets it off really cute. Okay, so there you go. Another really pretty one that I got done up. And like I said, all I got to do is make let everything dry really good, and then I can stick my paper down in there. And then, let's see, I was going to do... See my time. Well, I'm kind of getting running out of time. I wanted to do one more, but this video is going to get too long, so I think I'll stop there and I'll finish it all up and I'll just do a video on the whole thing. So, thank y'all so much for sitting here and listening to me and as I try to craft. And I did want to show you this, though. I bought this recently. This is a, one of those mini envelope punch boards. And I made up this little envelope here. And I thought it turned out really cute. So I'm going to use this in that project. And um, I made a smaller one, but I don't see it. So, But it was easy to do. I got this at Tuesday morning. So my mom has a bigger one. But I, I really like the little ones. So that's the reason why I got it. Okay, thank y'all so much, and y'all have a blessed day.